one of the longest tenured, consistent, and hilarious junglers of all time, the First Blood King, and the only LEC player with a thousand kills and 2,500 assists. Yankos is a two-time MVP on the Rift and a constant MVP on Mike Checks, the fastest Arky in the West, and as much as he might hate it, the greatest Brahmin Sejuani player we've ever seen. Here are the top 10 plays of Yankos' career. Take a glance down in the bottom lane. The given is under a little bit of pressure. Ruda opens up with a curtain call. First shot oh, oh. wide. Core JJ is bound. Yankos gets the kill. They turn their focus to ambition. Odo's already teleported in. Equalizer not even needed. Summon a heal used. Finally at the end, they throw it down. Maybe overkill. This should help the dragon. But exactly as we just talked about, H2K can put the focus on the bottom lane. Samsung, I'm not sure if they thought Yankos just went nearby because they started chasing. Almost blind towards H2K and got caught out. Dragon being started, there's a TP coming. Hold on, is back in base. He's not here. No, he's not. Samsung realized this. Yankos has to get it. He does indeed. Tries to save God out. Not gonna happen. Crown gets the kill. Dragon for one. Maybe I worse. Yellow Star catches an Aqua Prism on towards Sullivan. Do not follow through this time around. They're a little bit more cautious. They don't have the damage. Yankos goes in. Great kick followed by a Dragon Descent. But quickly, Destiny comes out. Where's he going to go? Comes out off the side there. Wildcard can catch all four members. It does. He wilds on through. Rocket got so much damage going down here. You can see Yellow Star in all sorts of trouble. Van is going to get the Zenith Blade back up in just a few moments. Salavar, he can dash once again. The other side's going to be the sacrificial lamb, but it's not quite enough. Beck ain't caught out. Yankos goes down. The ace could come through. Baron's available after this, and Rocket are running for it. Fnatic starts the Baron now, and they yes, the they're down in gold. They still are very healthy. They're ready to fight. And they do not want the Baron. They want H2K to walk in and win a team fight. 45, because Forgiven is still in base. Yeah, not quite committing to it, but they will wait for the Bra multi knocks up. That's been in comes Yankos. The Baron is so low. It's up for grabs. It's Yankos away. is coming by Yankos. And now Fnatic, they're trapped in the pit, but H2K are bleeding low. Shut down. Ryu gets the kill, but Gamsu follows him over. Do you want to take the 50 50? Obviously, not when you're 4v5. You'd rather engage on the fight, but the Baron jumps so low at this point, you have to take the 50 50. I mean, the hook goes off here. The Fnatic has more damage. The smite comes from Yankos, but watch this right now. He goes over the wall, flashes out, and keep your eyes on Ryu, where he is in the fight and where he ends up. Jump out. Once again, Caps buys the time of two members while G2 oh. keeps playing. No. Let's check it out. Oh, Wait, does he walk into it? Oh, is oh my god! No way! That's just gross. What do you do against this team? A punch just goes for him underneath the tower. I mean, Mickey comes in from behind and Yankos is there as well, but it's definitely a 1v1 for Perks. Yeah, I mean, what? AD Carry doesn't like to take towers and go for dives. Yankos steals away the ult. We'll watch this as it finds its inevitable conclusion from one G2 jungler to another trick. <sighs> Goodbye. Mickey and Yankos from the front. They need the collapse. They need to kill the Fnatic carries. All right, Clear Charge is still available. Baron is still being focused down to 4,000 HP. Perks can jump into the pit, and he does so. Turns the damage onto a by the Baron. Who's going to pick it up? It's secured by G2. Grabbed with a sigh of relief. Perks is killing Fnatic. And as it stands, Fnatic are now floundering the lead. And the moment he gets the steal here, Again, another big advantage for G2 to come back in this game, but it was such a miss. I can't blame Brox at all, because at this point, this it is just a blind 50-50. Wow, okay. <laughs> 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 Now, this is the play that you wanted to see. Ender Perks gets tagged by the Winter's Bite, and Mickey's thrown into the air by the Glacial Fissure. But he will find another teammate to fly towards. That's a kill onto Perks, but Yankos is waiting in the wings. Glacial Prison is available to him. While that's going on, one is in the top lane. Yeah, Caps is also on the roam here, so they're just gonna delete Broxa underneath the tower. Caps still running over. Yankos is so tanky. He's just buying time, waiting for the rest of G2 to show up and, and the fight. Quickness comes in and locks Reckless down. G2 are not done yet. They are looking Looking for Whippo. Whippo dashes in and hasn't got the damage just yet. Yeah, got oh. flashes over the wall. Caps kills Whippo. Ten kills to two. 
Team Yanko Snover Pow save the day. They're certainly going to try. Fensel Maelstrom on the tower laser. Still firing on Airwalks, but it's down. Number one, Overpow. Can he make the defense? They're trying. Airwalks, oh, so low. They've taken out Freeze, but there's just too many members of the Wolves here. Overpow, he picks up Airwalks. Oh, my goodness. Soren is able to answer back. It's only Yankos now. 30 seconds still on the timer. There's still a turret left here. It won't be able to finish now. Get inhibitor instead for the Copenhagen Wolves. Yankos, they managed to defend. Okay, it's not over uh -oh, yet. Oh, he's caught in the charm. The There's a bubble. So There's there. the polymorph. Yankos, he's going to try it. Oh my goodness, the shutdown on Soren as his mana runs out. Big fat man's hard to kill. How about a double kill? Can we see a triple? Almost as unlimited gets the bubble. I mean, they don't lose too much. It's just going to give them the extra burn. And hey, wait, look for Cannon. Look for Cannon and a Realmore Frank here, because this could be a big fight here. EDG may not expect the damage that's about to come out. Oh, boy. The party portal looks like it's coming in here. And now the trap is sprung. They get in there. Odawamne getting suppressed. He's gone down. But Mouse, his GA is going to get popped. Fander a little bit too low in this one. It is just he a one it. for one. The steal away. Yanko secures a absolutely massive Elder Drake. And EDG are evaporating on the spot. Kite, 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 kite. We can win, though. Kite. Yes, yes. They're all low. I got Nash. I got Nash. I got Nash. I got Nash. Mazar, Mazar, Mazar. Poppy, 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 Poppy. We can keep fighting, keep go, fighting, go, go. keep fighting. Go, go. Okay. I got them. I got them. Move it, move it. Go, kill the alarm. Move it. Yeah. 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 I'm dead. I'm dead. We're going to be taking low on mana there. The Shy trying to find himself some sort of a play here. Wonder down to one hit. The Shy wanting to make it happen. Those forward, Yanko's doing a good job body blocking that shuriken, making so they can't do anything else. Ning gonna be tanking the turret aggro here for now. The shot is gonna be oh. eating the turret shot. Yanko's might be able to make it too! Ladies and gentlemen, for the first Blood King brings three bloods into the top lane. Just five minutes in. Big gold stacked up on this Jarvis. Let's take another look at how the Shy gets Wonder low inside. But Yankos comes in, uses the sweeper to try and reveal, does get the initial knock up here. And then it is the Shy and Ning that try and go for the tower dive. And here's the thing, you think this is disaster for G2. You're like, this is a 2v1 scenario. But Yankos and Wonder play it so well. Wonder being the initial bait here. You know Invictus Gaming are going to bite. You know they're going to look for it. And then expertly layered oh. CC. Can they finish the game? Yankos, the lone defender against the five member strong Shalka. He alts in. He knows it's done for. The tower steadily starting to fall. Everything has gone wrong for H2K. It started so well, but at the end of the day, Shalka absolutely out execute. Exhaust coming down. Can they buy the time? Can they turn this around? Two members hitting the base. Rawls hitting the base. Oh, Will he die. drop? He's going to drop. Can they turn it around? They're so it's low. Trying. They have the CC. Can they turn it's it back? Triple kill. Yes, he's alive. Oh, yes. oh my God. God. The top of the one. Quadra kill. And EU just keeps delivering. I don't think they have the time. Sprottle up an eight. Counting down six. Five, they got the four, Baron buff as moving well. Moving in, he has the tidal wave. He can buy time. Ruff up as well. What can they do? No, there's too many members strong. They don't have the CC. It, They're setting their sights. H2K oh, with the turnaround for game one.